with Belarus, Korea, France, Ukraine, Israel and Brazil. Nathalie Benoit, probably the favorite of this race, or one of the favorites, cl uh, clocking the fastest heat time, 5.57 for her, um, but also her main neighbor here in the picture, Ala Lushenko, one of the most experienced athletes in this field, 6.02 was her heat time, 5 seconds slower, but both were unchallenged, so let's see how this final, this medal final, develops. Last time we saw the Ukraine and France go head-to-head -head was in Munich, and at that time, Ukraine came out ahead of the gold medal. All right. So let's see also uh, more Samuel from Israel and Santos, Claudia Santos of Brazil. Uh, a race in this final, uh, Claudia Santos being a silver medalist of uh, the Carapiro World Championships last year. So. so they can tick off that, tick that off their checklist. They're through to the Olympic Games, and now uh, a lot of people express the relief of making that final. Oh, yeah. And now you get to focus solely on now winning a medal at the World Championships. So actually, it's a two-stage end. This one, once uh, making the Olympic qualification rule to get into that uh, vital berth, uh, and that once you made it, it's all about. Okay, I prepare well, what can I do today, can I win a medal? This is the strongest athlete in the field physically, Ala Lushenko of Ukraine, the world champion of 2009. She did not race last year, but then came back to the Munich stage of the World Cup where the adaptive races were held and won there. And Benoit in France is both uh, showing why she was the world champion. This is not her right here, they just showed her. Santos, yes. Um, and this is uh, Lee yong for Korea, the long stroke, also a very powerful athlete. This is uh, Santos for from Brazil. Brazil, yes. Are oh, you right? And they're from uh, Belarus in lane one. Ludmila Vachok, silver medalist uh, of the Beijing Olympic Games, actually, uh, part of the Games, of course and bronze medal a few years ago at the Poznan World Road Championship. So this is really uh, also a race of experienced single scholars. Only the Korean being a, a sort of newcomer, but she was also in the final two years ago. So not really. Uh, so there's a scene of athletes now established. You remember this class has only been entered into the World Road programs eight years ago, 2003 Milan. So this is a new class, a totally new class. So it's becoming more and more competitive each year. That's what I was just thinking. Every year, the competition gets tighter and tighter. And uh, just to make for the qualification within your own country. And uh, I was talking to the Great Britain team, and they said that uh, the selection for the four this last year was was really very intense, including the coxswain. Okay. So here we see uh, why she posted the fastest time, Natalie Benoit rowing a lower stroke rate than Lysenko from Ukraine, but really making the most out of every stroke in the water, and really, really excellent catches. Absolutely. 31 years of age is Benoit. Uh, Lysenko much older, uh, if I may say this, in, in this, uh, in this time, well, this time, born in 1969, so... Natalie Benoit, school teacher from, from France, and uh, reigning world champion as well, in the absence of Ala Lushenko. So this is the battle for gold between Benoit of France and Lushenko of Ukraine coming to the halfway mark. It's just over half a length. What a great race from these fine athletes. Uh, 2.47 is a good time as well. Um, so let's see, it's we're way below six minutes in this race. And what we saw from Lyshenko, even in the heat, I mean, she won by quite a bit, but she's just an incredibly resilient woman. She can maintain the super high stroke rate. She will do it, and, and she just keeps pounding away. She's not going to let Benoit out of her sights, and she that margin has not changed. I mean, that's half a length, and that is extremely close. Yeah, it might even be that Lyshenko is uh, sneaking in a bit, a bit coming closer. Uh, the, the reigning world champion from France, 
battling it out with the world champion of 2009, not competing last year. This is really interesting here. It's centimeter by centimeter, inch by inch, that uh, Lushenko of, the, of Ukraine um, makes, makes good ground here and uh, coming closer and closer. Half a canvas now for Benoit of France, who now uh, also um, makes it an even bigger movement with her head, uh, showing the fatigue a little bit more than on the first half of the race, even missing some strokes there. Level taking between Lushek of France, the, that's probably the decisive moment of the race. Can Benoit hold on uh, to her race pick? And uh, several lengths back, but still very close, a race between, it appears to be Korea and Israel. Here's the leading athlete at this moment, moment, but it's just over a meter. It's under a deck, you would say, yes, uh, between her and uh, Benoit of France, Nathalie Benoit. Um, can she come back? Can she come back on the last quarter of this race? I have to say, Lushenko is incredibly consistent. She's at rate 34, and she has just been steady all the way through. I saw the same thing with Benoit in the heat, but a lower stroke rate, and then you go put them side by side, and it truly becomes a battle of wills, especially when you've got a gold medal on the line. Yeah. Well, the Shenko suffered a, a car accident in Turkey in 1996, and that to have both her legs amputated, and... Uh, I think many of these athletes, uh, especially in the arms and shoulders events, uh, suffered uh, accidents and thus uh, have to live in a wheelchair. But this is a great opportunity to really cope with this circumstance and cope uh, with your disability and display what you can do in a sport. Coming to the final uh, stage of this race, coming to the line is Lushenko winning another gold, so winning another title after 2009, just beating Benoit France, who takes a fantastic silver medal and uh, a big gap now to the bronze medalist, and that's, as you said, it's uh, Mor Moran Samuel uh, of Israel taking the bronze medal, fantastic bronze medal for Israel here in this, this event. Yeah, came, coming back from fourth place at the halfway mark, Samuel of Israel securing a medal for her and also, of course, the Paralympic qualification. Here's the minute when